Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. I hope everything's great with you guys. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about two foundations. I'm going to compare the MAC Face and Body with the Glossier Skin Perfecting Skin Tint. Before we get into that, hi, my name is Ellie and I do makeup content here on YouTube, mainly first impressions, reviews and makeup tutorials. I have some really fun stuff coming up in December, so if you want to keep up with that and me in general, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. But enough about that, let's get into the video. The first time I got the idea for this video was when I tried out the Glossier Skin Tint for the first time. And the reason why I got that idea is because, well, straight off, the packaging of these two products are very similar. The claims of these products are similar and the consistency like there's just so many similarities between these two products so i definitely wanted to compare them like at the same time with each other and i haven't done that up until today so i thought that would be a little fun experiment to share with you guys so i've been using the mac face and body for years on and off it's an amazing foundation if you like that really glowy sheer coverage type of stuff that I personally love. It's just the perfect foundation for that look and it's such a classic. If you talk to pretty much any makeup artist out there, they will have some sort of experience with this foundation and most will probably say that they love it and have it in their kit. So I think the reason why so many people love the Mac Face and, Mac Face and Body <laughs> Mac face and body is because it comes in a nice variety of shades even though I feel like the shade max shade range could be better when it comes to in between shades and stuff like that I still think that you will be able to find a shade that will work for you especially since it is a sheer foundation and also Mac is a huge brand it's so well known and loved and you can find it pretty much in any country and when it comes to my cat you want to say hi? You want to say hi? Come here. This cat did just puke on the floor for once and not in the couch. So that's great. And when it comes to the Glossier Skin Perfecting Tint, straight off, the shade range is a lot smaller, like a lot, a lot smaller. I think they have like five or six shades to choose between. Once again, if you have a product that is very sheer, it's very likely that it will fit a lot of different people anyways. But still, it is not a lot of shades and it isn't as accessible as MAC, especially if you live outside of the US because you have to order Glossier at their website. I have to say they have quite fast shipping, at least if you want to get it to Sweden, because I think they ship to Europe from the United Kingdom. So it's quite fast anyways, but still you can't get it in a physical store. So I did apply these foundation on each side of my face just to compare. I just want to mention that the MAC foundation is a little bit too dark for me at the moment. This is a really nice summer shade for me. But like I said, both of these foundations are really sheer. So even if you are kind of off in the shade mesh, you could make it work anyways. So I just went ahead and applied the MAC foundation to the right side of my face and as you can tell this is a lovely foundation it just evens out the skin tone a little bit but it provides that really nice and healthy glow to the skin it just looks like skin good skin one thing i do like about the mac foundation is that it is buildable you can never get a full or maybe even an medium coverage with this foundation but you can definitely build it up in certain places where you feel like you want to add a little bit extra i would recommend applying the mac foundation with your fingers actually if not your fingers maybe a brush but when you use your fingers you can kind of feel the foundation being done applied on the skin it's kind of hard to explain but once you achieve that tackiness on the skin when you kind of blend it in that's when you know that you're done it's kind of weird to explain but also when you kind of blend it in and achieve that tackiness that's kind of when you achieve that longevity of this foundation as well and that's also a thing i love about the mac foundation is that it has great longevity as you can see i wear glasses and one of the things that i hate with foundation and glasses is the movement on the nose if you wear glasses i think you can relate but with this foundation, it doesn't really do that. It almost kind of grips onto the glasses, if anything else. It doesn't move around 
that much, basically. Then I went ahead and applied the glossier side. And you can see that this is a much lighter shade. It is a little bit paler and it is a little bit better of a shade match for me at the moment since I am very pale. <laughs> obviously and I apply this with my finger as well it says on the glossier website that this is best applied with the fingers so that's just how I have applied it mostly but I also like to apply this with a brush or a sponge even if you apply this with a sponge it would definitely soak up a lot more of the product and it is a little bit wasteful but I'm just using the same finger technique by applying this by kind of rub it into my skin like you would a moisturizer almost and straight off this doesn't have as much coverage as the MAC one so the glossier claims to even out the skin tone a little bit and provides a healthy glow to the skin but I do feel like the glossier one do cling to my dry parts of my face a little bit more than the MAC one and I also feel like I have to use a lot more product with the glossier one to kind of achieve kind of the same amount of coverage that's one thing that has struck me the most about the glossier one how much product I actually need to use to kind of get any sort of effect from this product I also feel like the glossier one doesn't build up as well as the MAC one you can definitely build it up the tiniest little bit but you won't achieve like even a light coverage with this product. You can definitely see a lot more of my freckles and scars and stuff like that on the glossier side, just because it doesn't have as much coverage as the MAC one. So if I were to compare the finishes of these two foundations, I would say the MAC one gives more of a natural dewy radiant glow and also provides more coverage. When I say more coverage, it's not a lot of coverage but it's more and in comparison to the glossier one the glossier one pretty much just evens out your skin tone the slightest slightest bit and that's it it doesn't do more than that so it basically looks like you have nothing on the skin with the glossier one which could be nice but often when you apply some sort of base product to your skin you want some sort of coverage Am I right? So when it comes to the price point of these two products, the MAC one is definitely a bit more expensive. It comes in two different sizes. You can get the smaller one that I have, or you can get a much larger one. Great if you're a professional makeup artist and use a lot of this stuff. But if you're just an average consumer, I would definitely say get the smaller one because that will last you quite a long time either way. Even though the glossier one is a little bit less expensive, you have to use so much product. So it's just gonna run out faster than the MAC one anyways. So that's also one thing that you would like to take under consideration when you buy a product, like how long will this last me? So in my opinion, the MAC one will last you longer, even though it is more expensive. And another thing that is worth mentioning, MAC isn't cruelty free, but Glossier is. So if that is something that is important to you, that is something to take under consideration when choosing between these two. But with all those things being said, if I have to choose one of these two, maybe you can guess it, I would hands down choose the MAC face and body. I just truly believe that you get so much more value for your money. And if you're someone that loves that sheer glowy coverage, you would definitely get that using the MAC face and body. And it's so easy to use, especially since it is best applied with your fingers. It is just such a lovely product and it is such a classic. But those are my thoughts about these foundations in comparisons to each other. I thought this was a really fun video to make and let me know if you have tried any of these foundations or if you've tried both and do you agree? disagree it's just fun to hear what people think because when it comes to makeup opinions can be so different but like i said make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel because i have so many fun videos coming up in december and i want you to be a part of that because it's going to be fun for me and hopefully fun for you as well and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and hopefully i will see you all in my next video bye and Misa says bye too bye bye